Hi everyone, Andy Trice back again, and today I want to talk about a new experiment that I've been working with for PhoneGap applications. And what it is, is the ability to interact with hardware in real time. And what I've got here is a Pogo Connect stylus. This is a stylus that gives pressure sensitivity and uh, it, it's a Bluetooth connection to the device. And what's happening is I've taken the, the, the SDK for this device and I've created a native plugin for PhoneGap for it. So basically, the events are intercepted at the native layer, the pen events. Then those are delegated to the JavaScript layer so that we can have complete control of the input on the JavaScript side of things. So we can respond to the pen events. We can detect the pressure sensitivity. We can detect if the pen tip is down, if the pen tip is up. We can detect if the button is pressed. And we can basically make the PhoneGap application, which is all built using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript we can have that application respond to the events that are happening within this pen. Now, what's also really cool is you can do a bi-directional communication across Bluetooth. So let's say if I'm selecting color uh, and I want this pen to reflect a certain color, then the LED on this pen will, I, I can force it to light up with that particular color. So let's go ahead and take a look. I've, I've created a sample application and this entire application uh, I've posted on GitHub, so it's entirely um, open as a learning tool. Well, let's go ahead and take a look. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press the button to activate the pen, and we should get a message any second now. So would you like to start using Pogo Connect? I'm going to hit OK, and we're just going to give it a minute to go ahead and register the pen with the device. Once the device is paired, okay, it's been paired, up here in the top left corner, it's going to say Pen Connected. Now, what I've done is added the ability to have complete pressure sensitivity inside of a sketching application. So the lighter I touch, the thinner and lighter the stroke will be. The darker I touch, the darker the stroke will be. Now, what's also really interesting about this is we've got the button here. If I hold down the button and I draw, it acts, acts as an eraser. But if I double tap the button, you can see it brings up our pen control so I can customize the pen. And so now to really highlight the pressure sensitivity, I'm going to make our variance of both thickness and opacity as wide as it can possibly be. So I'll go ahead and close this, and the lighter I touch, you'll see that you barely see it. The harder I press, you can see it gets much thicker. Let me go ahead and double tap to bring up the options again, and we will erase the canvas. So I'll do it very lightly and I'll press very hard here, and you can see the, the variance in the stroke. Now the way that I set this up is that we can have a range of how thick it should be based upon the pressure and then how opaque should it be based upon the pressure. So if I want to have a kind of limited thickness, limited opacity range, uh, but you still want the variations in there and you want to control that, then you can do so using these different sliders. And what I can also do is change the pen color. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and make it red. And you know, I've got sliders in here. If I want to make it a darker red, lighter red, if I want to make it purple, I can go ahead and do that. Or I've got my quick palette on the side. And what I've also done is added the ability to save the sketch to the device library. So if I hit save, it's actually using an open source plugin uh, from DevGeeks called Canvas to Image. And then it saved that to the it saved that file, so whatever was on the HTML canvas, to the device's photo library. Now let me go ahead and erase here, and you can, we can kind of get an idea of what we're doing. Um, I've got some very light sketching. So I've got some really simple sketching here. Uh, we'll give them a top hat. And if I wanted to change the variance, so I, I don't want it very opaque, but I want to make it, uh, you know, have a varying thickness, I can go ahead and do that. So that way, if I wanted to add some shadows, let's make some of the shadows actually black and make them less opaque. You can get the idea. You can create some really kind of nice sketches that feel a little bit more like um, 
you know, what you would expect a actual pen to be like. You get the, the variance in stroke, you get the variance in pressure, so you get the varying, varying color. And this entire thing is purely, all the, jobs, the, the drawing is JavaScript based. And the way that it works is the events are captured in the native SDK. They're delegated to the JavaScript player. Then there's a request animation frame interval that is updating the contents of the canvas based upon whatever information is being pulled back from the pen input. And that's pretty much it. Uh, it's really been an exploration to kind of see what's possible. You can do some really, really fun, really cool things. And you know, it's been a lot of, a lot of fun to work with. And just to give you an idea of what you can do, you know, if we want to just have very light erase or if we want a very dark erase, you know, we, we can do that and we can have a lot of control over what the application is actually doing.